Antibiotic resistance and the spread of antibiotic resistance remains um, a major challenge for society. The immunology expert and her team have established the basis for a new oral vaccine. What we realised when we worked out how our vaccines were functioning is that we can use these oral vaccines to specifically target antibiotic resistant bacteria in the gut um, with the hopes that we can in the end eradicate these from the microbiota of livestock animals. Do you want another one? Look, you don't have to fight it. Antibiotics are often used in livestock breeding <laughs> to fight infection from bacteria like Salmonella. But the bacteria quickly become resistant, making it more difficult to fight infection. We developed the technique that Daniel is doing now um, of producing large quantities of killed bacteria and simply swallowing this which is sufficient to induce a very strong antibody response in the gut. And once we'd done that, we were pretty convinced that actually this, this does work. The popular lecturer discovered a surprising response in the gut. How this really works. In vaccinated animals, we have large amounts of IgA. And what this does is actually stick salmonella together as it grows. So it cross-links at the division site. And what this means is that the salmonella can't invade into the tissues because these clumps are too big to actually approach the gut wall. But they also can't contact each other, which means you don't get transfer of plasmids, for example, carrying antibiotic resistance. And this means we can use vaccination to actually block transfer of antibiotic resistance in the gut. That's amazing, actually. What this discovery means is that we can control the evolution of the pathogen. That's unique. No, nobody can do that here right now. It has enormous potential. What is the secret to her success? One is her very collaborative, friendly character, which makes it extremely pleasant to work with her. And the second thing is her very deep knowledge of immunology. This is something very special about the ETH, that you can so nicely work across disciplines and in between departments. What really impressed me about her, it is certainly an interdisciplinary collaboration, but um, there's basically different disciplines in Emma's head. Maybe there are people out there who can have all the ideas on their own, but um, I think it's enormously richer if um, you're exposed particularly to ideas that are a little bit outside of your field of, of comfort.